Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyd, presented by Skylar, Cassidy, and Mika. The story begins in Berlin, Germany, during the Holocaust, with a nine-year-old boy named Bruno. He lives with his family in a large house on a quiet street. One day, Bruno comes home to discover Maria, the family maid, packing away his things. His mother informed him that they were moving away from Berlin because of his father's important job. Bruno is not at all pleased with the situation. Bruno arrives at his new home and is immediately displeased with it. As he helps Maria unpack, he asks her opinion on the place. She immediately states it's not for her to say. As he glances out of his window, he notices something odd. He goes to his older sister Gretel, the hopeless case. They look out the window and see a number of huts, a rather large number of soldiers, and a large number of rather strangely dressed people, all surrounded by a tall fence to talk by barbed wire. They try to explain to each other what they could possibly be doing there, but fail to come up with a logical explanation. They decide to call them farmers. They notice that all the people on the other side of the fence are wearing the same set of grey and white striped pajamas. One day, Bruno decided to visit Polly's office. He expressed his dislike about with the whip and was even so brazen as to yell at Polly. Bruno decides that he needs to find a way to entertain himself at out with, or he will most definitely go mad. He asks Lieutenant Cotler for a spare tire so he can make a swing. Lieutenant Cotler sends Pavel, the man who comes and peels vegetables for dinner every day, to a shed in the back to look for a tire that suited Bruno's purposes. He constructed a swing and was swinging quite high on it when he fell off and cut his knee. Pavel saw the incident and carried Bruno inside to patch up his knee. Mother walks in a little while later, later and spots Bruno's knee. She sends him to his room. Just as he's leaving, he overhears Mother tell Pavel to lie and say she fixed Bruno up. After the swing incident, Bruno decides to do some exploring along the mysterious fence. He walks along it for quite a ways and doesn't discover anything. Just as he's about to turn back, he sees a speck in the distance. As he gets closer, it develops into a figure, which turns out to be a boy. Bruno greets the boy and asks his name. Shmuel, the boy replies. Every day after that, Bruno would make his way to the place of the fence, and he and Shmuel would talk for hours on end. The two find out they were born on the same day, April the 15th, 1934. The two talk about everything. Shmuel tells Bruno about his previous life in Poland with his father, who was a watchmaker, and also about how awful the camp is. Bruno tells Shmuel all about his family and how he hates it at Outwith. They grow very close. Bruno arrives back at the house at Outwith to find his things being packed again. Is Bruno? Parents tell him that he, mother, and girl will be returning to Berlin the following afternoon. Bruno and Shmuel come up with one, one last adventure before Bruno leaves forever. If you like reading heartwarming novels, then The Boy in the Striped Pajamas is something you should pick up. It's a sweet story of friendship with the undertones of comedy and innocence, making this novel a surefire thing to make you cry. We highly recommend this novel.